great things about this new Winter Cup is the fact that we've got a fastest solo lap challenge and in this video we're going to show you how to go a bit faster. So um, over the period of seven runs I was able to improve my time by a second um, as you can see here in 12th there are some guys that are quite a bit quicker than me but probably I could get up to about eight with a small improvement so I'd like to walk you through how to do it. We're going to go for some faster slaps see how we get on um, and I'm going to have various attempts and I'm going to show you the difference between my first flying lap and my fastest flying lap at the end and we can look at where to make up some time. Attempt one. Metallic Blue, CRG Limited Edition. Uh, this is the one which I think is going to be most likely to succeed. Uh, looking at the leaderboards, uh, I've chosen the LeConte soft tyre here. Since the weather is quite cold, it's minus 72, 0.72. Uh, I've gone for the 100 octane fuel, um, and I'm with the Rovtex uh, engine here, the works engine, um, to start off with. I've got my weight down to zero, but these are my initial settings. I'm looking at the tire pressure there. I'm going to go for around 11, um, maybe yeah, just go for 11, I think. Adjust the seat position, I have it set at 0.004, um, and I have the radiator curtain at uh, uh, full. Um, with the SJ, SJ, with the SK works rad. Okay, let's give it a go. This is the first flying lap, and across the line here. A little bit wide there, so that's not the best. Um, good entry here, that's fine. And running through the corner pretty well. We're up to about just over 100 kilometers an hour there. That sequence is pretty smooth, just across the line onto the rumble strip, um, and nice and smoothly through there. The back's a little bit wiggly on the exit. A tidy line through there, and maybe not quite carrying enough speed. Wide on the apex there, and slightly across the grass, that's not the best line. Um, a tight line through there, but trying to keep the speed up on the exit. Um, I know that Craig Law's Tough Monkey takes a different line through there. So that gives us 117 max speed uh, with the Rovtex works. Okay, so that was my fastest lap. It was on the, the second lap. Not surprisingly, because the most grip is going to be available on the second lap regardless. Um, and as you can see, as we cross the line after the fifth, uh, fifth attempt, um, done okay. It's not the fastest time I've ever seen. Okay, Tim 2 here. So let's just walk you through my settings. I'm going to adjust the front slightly um, and push the seat forward a little bit. Should give me a little bit more turn in, so hopefully that will improve my time. Let's find out. The time to beat is 46.443. Will that adjustment in, in, in seat position help? Um, again, we're about 117 kilometers an hour. Nice tight line through there, so it should be should be better already than the last flying lap. And as you can see, I've got a little bit more turn in here. I can, I can get a slightly better line through. Um, the cart feels a little bit more responsive. We're on slightly wide there. I think that's going to cost me a little bit of time. But that was neater on the exit. I'm slightly over the grass, not the best. And this isn't the best line either. I was a little bit sharp on the brakes, didn't let it run through wide there slightly and over the grass again uh, I need to work on that and again I've gone slightly wide on the grass so that's not going to help the time and I wasn't tight on the apex okay wow that was 0 0.002 faster than my fastest previous lap let's see if we can do a bit better here wide there that's not great and slightly wide there too but that's tidier and again, oh, I've messed it up and run over the grass twice on two corners. This shouldn't be faster. I will depend on these next couple of corners, I think. Wide again there, but I carried the speed and didn't run over the grass. But I've run wide there, right round, but I've kept the revs up. So let's see if that helps. So over the grass slightly there, 117 across the line. That's pretty good. It is faster, but not much faster. A 
attempt three. So I've worked out where the issues are, um, and it's the question now of when I can, whether I can actually do what I want to do um, to improve the time. I'm going to make some small adjustments here uh, to tire pressure. I've got to beat the 46.076. So my technique now has changed um, in the warm-up, so I'm not going to commentate on the lap. Um, but my te technique now has changed. Um, I'm trying to make sure I don't wear out the tyres on the first warm-up lap. Um, by doing so, that should give me a little bit more grip on the second flying lap and also provide me with a little bit more momentum as, as well. Let's see if that's reflected in the times. So far, this lap isn't particularly good. I've been running wide on most of the uh, most of the lap. That was a little bit neater, but I lost a lot of momentum. I'm not sure this is going to be quicker. Again, run wide. It's a 46 something, 46.2, but it's not any quicker. Okay, attempt four. Uh, I've just upped the tire pressure a little bit just to see if that helps me um, get out of the corner slightly better. So again, we're just above 46 seconds. Um, this is coming up to the end of lap three. At this point, I've changed over to the IAMI Perilla Works engine. Uh, I was on the Rovtex Works before to see if that helps me. I've done 46, 1.16. It didn't help, um, so I've come back to try again. Okay, I'm now on my seventh attempt. <laughs> not particularly happy with how it's going because I have not improved. So, um, I've decided to service the cart and service the engine. I've got the Amain Perilla works engine now in the cart. Um, and I'm gonna service both the engine and the cart and see what happens, see if we can make some improvements. Okay, we need a 46.08. I've worked out that there are a couple of areas where I can make improvements on my time. I'm currently 21st. The best area to make the improvements, I think, is just tidying up the line. Again, we're gonna go with the LeConte um, SK soft tire here. I haven't changed the tire at all. Um, the only thing I have done is adjust the tire pressure slightly as well. I, I felt during the, the runs four to seven that the tire pressures were a little bit too low. And I might be wrong because there's a few people that run the tire pressures much lower than I do. Um, but I like to have a bit of driver as of the as of the corners, in particular those those tight hairpins. Uh, so I've gone up to 11.2. I've adjusted the seat height up to 0.16. Okay, so this is lap three, run seven. Cross the curb there, trying to use all the track. Certainly with the service cart, this feels a lot better. It feels like I can put the cart where I really want it to go. I've run a little bit wide there, so that's not perfect. And a little bit wide there, but there's good flow through this corner here. And nice and neat through that section where I've identified where we can make up quite a bit of time. Again, neat and tidy through there. And this corner for me is critical. I think if you get this, this rise and get a good drive out of the corner, and that wasn't ideal anyway, so I've got some time to make up. Take that nice and wide, run through here, and 116, 117 across the line. It's a 45.59, and that gets me 12th. Okay. Okay, let's go for a side-by-side -side run through and see what the differences are between the first run I did and that flying run I did just now. As you can see, the, on the, the, the fastest run, which is on the right-hand side, is nice and neat through there. You can see at this point here, I'm not that much up. Maybe, maybe two tenths maximum. It's nice and neat through here on both. Again, probably about two tenths up. Good run through there with both lines actually, it was a bit squirrely on the on the exit on the one on the left.
on the original run. But again, I'm maybe two tenths up, most. But I think this corner here is the one that makes the difference. I'm much, much tighter here. And I get a good exit and don't run wide. Again, flying through there, and the difference is massive because you carry the speed through the corner and onto the fast pass of the straight. So, to me, if you really want to make up any time at all, it's that first corner, and it's the, the and it's the last corner where you can really make a difference to your times. The other corners, yes, I'm sure you can make a make some small improvements of, uh, of tenths and two tenths of a second here. But that last corner, if you nail that right and get the exit right, that gets you the speed for the whole of the straight, which you carry across. And that makes all the difference. So, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Um, we'd love to know what you think. Where have you made up time? I'd love to know what kite you used as well. See you in the next video.